It was nearly a decade ago that young gay men were found dismembered and buried in shallow graves. These remains were uncovered in Newton County. 28 gay men were dead before Larry Island was finally convicted in Illinois for one of the murders. The police task force formed to investigate the killings still believe Eiler committed the majority of the other murders. Law enforcement officials hope that the latest murders do not stump them for as long or claim as many lives. For the record, dating back to 1985, five bodies have turned up in Ohio. The latest corpse remains unidentified. All the victims were strangled and all hailed from central Indiana. Our place is a popular gay night spot. One of the victims, Clay Russell Boltman's car, was recovered here. Authorities believe all of the victims frequented gay bars here in Indianapolis. It sure smells like a cover-up. Local gay activist Stan Berg believes police have conducted a conspiracy of silence on the murders. We have had no knowledge that any of this has been going on. None whatsoever. Zero. Zip. The police, you would think, after three or four of these cases reared their ugly heads, that they would have contacted members of the gay community and attempted to let them know that there was some sort of a possibility of a mass murderer out there. Uh, they have not done that. Berg, through his newspaper, will begin getting the word out to members of the gay community that patronize bars like our place, but he has a warning for police. It's going to be hell to pay on the part of the police because we want these murders solved, and we want them solved more than any other group does because they affect our community. Police say they will meet with leaders of the gay community. A time has not been set. Derek Thomas, 6 News.